And the third thing was a rule that came in in 1919 during the general strike. And that rule said if you were from another country, you could be uh, deported simply by being involved in politics. And at the end of dinner, he agreed to one, but not the other two. He agreed to two, but not the third one, which was unemployment, because he said he couldn't do it because it was a provincial issue. And by two years later, they kept him in power for another six months, and they passed the first pension plan that gave $20 a month to every Canadian over, no, every British subject over the age of 70 got a pension for $20 a month. And we've been building on that ever since. And we stopped, and now we have to start again. Why? Because you know what? The pension system we got in our workplaces isn't working if 65 or 70% of people don't have one and can't get a pension plan. And we have to go out there as a labor movement and fight for all those people. So people say to me, the union movement's about union people. Yeah, it is. But it's also about working people. And when I see us fighting for the CPP, I'm really proud of who we are. Because lots of our members don't see this as a priority, but if you look out in the street and see your neighbors, if you look at young people, they're not putting money into a pension plan, and this RRSP thing is such a scam. It's just a straight scam tax giveaway. It cost us $18 billion in lost taxes to give about 20% of the people in Canada the right to save a lot of money, including 10% control 70% of that money. And it drives me crazy. And we met with Colin Hansen twice about this. Twice we met, sat down and met with them, showed them all our stuff, said, don't we need to do the CPP? It can't be voluntary. And I see a picture, a story in the paper the other day saying, we had a meeting in Whitehorse, we're going to look at two options, the CPP from the CLC, which is great, our option, and then he starts talking about the voluntary one being the best one, because it won't piss off business. Well, let me tell you, Mr. Hansen, hello, you just changed your pension plan, buddy. You used to have an RSP plan, it was 9% from the government, 9% from you. And that wasn't good enough for you, so you turned it into a defined benefit plan and millions of dollars of taxpayers' money at 3% per month, which is more than any other union worker will ever get. And now you're telling the rest of us, oh, it's a voluntary thing, don't worry. Well, that's bull. Because let me tell you, my kid's had three jobs and two pension plans already. He's only 23 years of age, and he ain't saving RSPs. The fact is, voluntary pension plans are not pension plans at all. You need defined benefits, we have the CPP, and we can't quit fighting.